My name is Chris Fife. I'm a design engineer for Siemens Energy. I was in apprenticeship for four years at Energy Service Fossil, where I completed a four-year apprenticeship. I then took a year out when travelling and then decided to come back to Siemens because of the opportunities that they give within the energy sector. Our day-to-day -day job, you know, we do visit sites around the country and worldwide. There's a lot of people flying off to go and see substations abroad. I currently work on HV substations, which is high voltage substations. Um, we manufacture um, our existing gear and we extend our existing gear within the power industry on a substation. When we have to extend, we design a substation layout and within that substation layout we use 3D CAD and a computer aided drawn package which allows you to visualise what you've drawn up in 3D so you can spin it around, turn it upside down and view from every direction what you need to to find that everything's interfacing and connected right. Siemens support me with the CAD computer systems, 3D computer systems. Um, also giving me a day release for my mechanical engineering degree, which I'm now under my fourth year. HV substations or high voltage substations are massive. So we need to go out and take measurements for the steel work to see where it's going to be put and do the steel work calculations for the load bearing on the steel work. The best part of the job is seeing the finished design and then when you're going out of sight, seeing the completion of the work that you've done and the satisfaction you get it from it, that everything's fitted together perfectly. If I had to say something to someone to encourage them to get into power, would be that the starting salary is great, job opportunities are huge, you get a lot of travel within the power industry over to other countries and a lot of transferable skills that you can use within your day-to-day -day life and other job opportunities that you want to progress in and I think powers would be massive in the future.